Welcome to Secret Daily. I am your host, Abelardo. And I'm Samuel. And today we will be discussing the topics of terrorism and ETA. Although the terrors of war, crime, and violent acts have existed since the dawn of time, the concept of terrorism as a form of political violence began at the Le Terror French Revolution. Terrorism itself is a very hard word to define. Terrorism can be considered as a brutal existence of violence, especially against civilians or a specific group, in the pro protest of political aims. In the 1980s, the U.S. Code of, Code of Federal Regulations defined terrorist, the terrorism as the unlawful use of force and violence against persons or property to intimidate or coerce an, or a government in the civilian population. ETA, also known as Kauli, Ta Askatasuma, is a group which have been declared as a terrorist due to their violent acts on the Spanish country. But why exactly though? Before we start, let's talk a little bit about the history of ETA. ETA came out of the Basque Nationalist Party, which was founded back in 1894. They wanted the Basque country to be independent from Spain. They survived all this long hiding on the Paris, which kept them out of sight of the Spain during that time. Later, in 1959, some members of the Basque Nationalist Party de separated due to the persistence of, long of the group's rejection of our struggle against Spain. This group then formed ETA. Once ETA was a fully fledged group, they started to create Marxist positions and a self revolutionary socialism as their real goal. They also elected their main leaders, which were known as Josu Temera. David Pla, Isakun, Leska, and Mike Isartosa. Once they had finished with creating these ideologies and choosing their leaders, they started choosing their plan of action. They mainly did this group conference, which were led around each two years. By 1966, ETA had their fifth group conference and split into two wings. One wing, the Nationalists, stayed on the track of the Basque autonomy which was created at the start, while the other, the ideologists, turned more towards the, Mar the Marxist-Leninist type of Basque independence. The, ideolo the ideologists also engaged in the sabotage, being more violent than the nationalists. ETA had certain tactics during this time, in which included the many assassinations. They did so by shooting their victims in the nave, which is a very fatal point of the body. This also participated in car bombing, which caused many casualties in the area of the Basque Country and other parts of Spain. Even though these were some of the things they did most commonly, they also participated in blackmailing and military or police base attacking, in which they used handmade mortar. Alright, so most of ETA's attacks were laid in Spain. Many other assassinations occurred in the Basque Country and Navarre, which are two provinces located in northern Spain. Some of the attacks also occurred down in Madrid and Barcelona, and are some of the tourist regions of the Spanish Mediterranean coast. They led Spain to attack some of the southern parts of France. These attacks were many assaults, uh, assaults on military industries to steal weapons to fight for the independence of the Basque Country. All of these conflicts and all of these threats didn't only scare the Spanish population, but also the Spanish government, in which at the time Francisco Franco was, was at the rule. All of these threats of terror finally led to Franco attempting to crush ETA with violence, counter-terrorist attacks, beginning the torturing their people, or later on, 1969 to 1970, arresting ETA's principal leader. But this wasn't the end of ETA. In the 70s, ETA was plagued with factionalism, with small internal groups stating to vary between violence and political action. After Franco's death, which then occurred in 1975, Spain new government uh, tried to solve the problem with, by trying to create a new regional autonomy for the Basque provinces. However, the next decade assassination of bombings by ETA had increased. Each one aimed at the, uh, the politicians, judges and military generals. In the total time as a terrorist group in which they have killed in a total of 345 civilians and 4,400 uh, 86 members of different security forces. After the arrest of the main leaders of ETA, they had to elect new ones. They agreed upon the new top three leaders, known as the military leaders Francisco Garmedia, political leader Jose Santa Cristina, and their new logistical leader Jose 
it has to be. Then, after the election of the new leaders, ETA was very weak. They, with their main source of money coming from robberies and kidnappings and revolution, revolutionary taxes, they then tried to go for different fronts, such as making a certain political organization known as Henry Bastuna, which should establish their political wings. Wings, that. The organization then joined with the post Franco elections trying to get people to see it as ideology with the independence of the Basque country. Finally, after many years of violence and casualties, ETA decided upon a temporary case, ceasefire case to discuss upon an agreement with the Spanish government. They had agreed upon a full-on ceasefire in the Basque country with has, which was an independent state, having more political control of the, of the, over themselves than the Spanish government did. In March of 2006, the, 2006. 2006. <laughs> the so long awaited ceasefire finally came. People thought it was over until some, rebel, some rebels who didn't agree with the ceasefire, an agreement that ETA made, uh, started arousing some conflict. The final bombing came in Madrid's International Airport on December of 2006, leading up to the official ceasefire of June um, 2007, which ended the conflict with ETA.